Hazards in the workplace are a fact of life. No matter what you do, there is the need for personal protective equipment on many of the jobs you perform. Health hazards, eye hazards, noise, and chemicals. Whether or not you use personal protective equipment is really up to you. If you choose not to, your attitude may be the biggest hazard of all. Personal protective equipment is one of the best ways to protect your own health and safety. You've seen it all before. Eye protection that's uncomfortable, equipment that gets in your way, and thousands of other excuses for not wearing protection when it's required. When personal protective equipment is provided by your employer and its use is required, it's your job to wear it. Maybe your equipment isn't comfortable or convenient as you'd like it to be, but you should convince yourself that your health and well-being are worth the effort. Stop for a minute and consider the risks. What if you lost an eye or hand or became exposed to a life-threatening illness? Is it really worth the gamble? Of course not. Let's take a quick look at some basics of personal protective equipment. Earplugs or earmuffs can go a long way to avoid hearing loss. Adjust your muffs so they're comfortable and don't squeeze your ears. Disposable earplugs must be clean and fitted properly. Never insert dirty earplugs or use dirty hands when putting the plugs in your ears. Of course, earplugs connected to portable radios are not considered hearing protection. Safety glasses provide eye protection from flying chips, debris, and other eye hazards. Goggles protect your eyes from chemical splashes, and face shields are a safeguard when worn over other protective eyewear, such as safety glasses. Handy-dandy straps connected to your safety glasses keep them from falling off your nose or connected around your neck when safety glasses are not necessary. Gloves protect your hands from chemicals, rough or sharp parts, and a wide range of skin protection. Keep in mind that there are literally hundreds of different types of gloves, each designed for a specific purpose. So select the proper glove for the job. Respirators can protect you against a wide variety of dusts, fumes, gases, vapors, and many other health hazards. One of the most misused respirators in the industry is the dust mask. It's designed only for certain types of dust, but many people believe it's good for any type of hazard. A dust mask cannot be used for spray painting or other types of vapors. Each specific hazard must have the proper respirator that provides protection for that hazard. Proper fitting of respiratory equipment and the wearing of equipment as it was intended is equally important. The old standby. Hard hats protect your head from low-hanging or falling objects. Wear hard hats as they were intended to be worn and never make modifications to your hat, such as drilling air holes in the sides. Each hat is engineered for impacts, and if you modify the hat, you could damage the hat to such a degree where the hat will not afford the designed protection. Bump caps are made of lesser quality plastic and are not engineered for falling objects or impacts. Bump caps are used in areas where there are bump hazards and not falling objects. Boots and shoes are good personal protective equipment. Even if your job doesn't require steel-toed safety shoes, leather-topped shoes can provide a degree of protection from chemical splashes, petroleum products, and small cuts, bruises, and abrasions. Your shoes should be in good condition, and the soles of the shoes should be slip-resistant. Keep your footwear in good condition and always clean off your shoes before climbing ladders or getting into vehicles. Grease or slippery shoes can create accidents. Chemical clothing and encapsulating suits are used when there are vapor, gas, and other airborne hazards. When you're engaged in this type of work, more training is necessary to make sure you understand what protection is offered and how to specifically use, handle, and store the equipment. When we talk about personal protective equipment, the basic equipment just described comes to mind. But in a work environment, you must consider many other safety devices that could be lumped together with personal protective equipment. Machine guarding isn't just for one individual, but it could be considered personal protective equipment. Electrical safety devices, lock and tag out procedures, barriers, warning signs, labels, and hundreds of other safety devices should be considered. Safety isn't just one thing. It's a combination of equipment, procedures, and each individual interacting together to make health and safety a reality. Let's say you're spray painting. A proper respirator isn't your only concern. It's how you handle, store, and use the paint. What precautions you take if the paint is toxic or flammable so you don't expose others or create an explosion. 
It's cleaning your equipment when you're finished. It's reporting unsafe equipment or hazards to your supervisor. It's your attitude that really makes the difference. If you have a good attitude about safety, follow the rules and take the time to perform your job safely. You can't go wrong. Wearing personal protective equipment when it's required is not only for your protection, it makes good sense to protect your safety and health. Safety glasses can be a pain in the neck because you may not be used to wearing them, or respirators can get uncomfortable from perspiration, or perhaps the straps may not fit just right. Tennis shoes may be more comfortable than leather top shoes. It may be a hassle not to wear safety glasses under face shields when grinding metal. Gloves may not fit properly, or they're 20 feet away and it's only going to be a short job. You're only going to handle a small amount of chemicals, so you neglect to take proper precautions. These are attitudes, but they really don't add up when it comes to you, your family, and to the company. Safety and health are much too important to neglect. When you're required to wear personal protective equipment, then that's the professional thing to do. You won't regret it. Effective July 5, 1994, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration requires employers to conduct an assessment of hazards in the workplace that may require the use of personal protective equipment and to certify that such an assessment has been completed. This means the company should identify potential hazards in the workplace and what type of personal protective equipment is to be used for each potential hazard. Documentation that the assessment has been completed is an important part of this requirement. The new rule also requires employers to provide training to employees on identifying when such equipment is necessary, how to use the equipment, and how to properly care for and maintain personal protective equipment. Identifying when equipment is necessary should be accomplished by listing each potential hazard in the workplace, awareness of the hazards, and when personal protective equipment should be used. Generally, safety glasses, gloves, Hard hats, safety shoes, and similar equipment is relatively simple to understand. However, specific training may be required of employees who work with pesticides, chemicals, and hazardous materials. Additional training may be required for those employees who may be exposed to respiratory hazards, as identification of these types of hazards are not always apparent. Self-contained breathing apparatus, respirators, and most notably dust masks are items of personal protective equipment that require employee training before using PPE. The stated purpose of the new standard is to improve worker acceptance of wearing personal protective equipment by allowing better and more comfortable designs not presently permitted by older rules. The increased training provides information on selecting the proper equipment for the job. Employees who also have excellent experience and expertise in safety matters should provide their recommendations to supervisors and managers when purchasing new personal protective equipment. After all, safety is a team effort. <laughs>